it really looks like Robocop's head. I mean, you know the 2014 remake of Robocop where they painted him black? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really, really cool, guys. Uh, anyway, friends, meet the 2022 Hyundai Staria GLS Plus. And in this video, we get to check it out. Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I invite you to click that subscribe button for your regular dose of Philippine automotive content. If you're my subscriber already, well, sit back, relax, click that like button and enjoy the show. Also, special thanks to Hyundai Manila Bay for providing the Hyundai Staria GLS Plus to do this car feature. If you are within the area and you need any Hyundai, head on down here and check them out. For any inquiries, you may also contact the person in my pinned comment below. Now guys, before we begin, if you find this video useful, you may also click that super thanks button and I will highly appreciate it. The Hyundai Staria has been in the Philippines since last year, but those are gray market units which are sold at a premium price. Now what we have here is the official 11-seater version of the Hyundai Staria and it comes in at a more budget-friendly price level. You see, this Hyundai Staria GLS Plus 11-seater retails for only 2,320,000 Philippine pesos and for that kind of money, this, my friends, is quite a compelling option. Now, why do you ask? Uh, well, guys, let's dive in and find out. Now, right off the bat, when you look at this front mug, I mean, dude, seriously? This thing has got to be the most unique and futuristic looking van ever. I mean, Hyundai's design theme for the Staria is what they call inside out, and it's meant to make the Staria look like a spaceship, and oh boy, guys, did they freaking succeed. I mean, let's hand it to the Hyundai designers. Let's give them a round of applause, guys because they freaking succeeded. This thing looks like a freaking spaceship with its thin LED DRL light strip here, which unfortunately doesn't really connect there on the center. I mean, it would have looked much better if it's just one thin white LED light strip there. Uh, but still, guys, when you pair that with this abyss black paint job, dude, <laughs> seriously, this looks like an alien spaceship. And check out that front grille. Look at that, that honeycomb design there. It, it kind of looks like a mutated honeycomb design here. And the way they incorporate the, the LED headlights here on the front bumper, I mean, seriously, man. Yeah, this thing looks like a spaceship on wheels. And I just have to congratulate the Hyundai designers because, yes, it looks freaking fantastic. Good job. Here on the side, you can see just how massive this van is. I mean, guys, I'm five foot six, and check it out, check out that roof, baby. I mean, yeah, Hyundai raised the roof of this Hyundai Staria by 2.8 inches over this Star X, and they also lowered the belt line of this thing in order to make way for these wide panoramic windows. Now, guys, just telling from its size, I can already say to you, that this Hyundai Staria is going to be a massive pain in the butt to park, especially in tight city parking areas. Now, this GLS Plus 
It's also equipped with a power folding side mirror here with LED turn signals that have a pretty unique design there. Plus, it also has these 17-inch alloy wheels, which, in my opinion, guys, yeah, they're kind of butt ugly. I mean, seriously, they kind of remind me of Steelys or uh, at their best, maybe a set of wheels from an electric vehicle. Uh, but this Hyundai Staria is not an electric vehicle. Uh, but guys, it's a quick fix. You see, all you need to do is paint these wheels into a black paint, a black paint job, and it will go so well with this Abyss black uh, color. Now, behind these ugly wheels, uh, we get uh, four-wheel disc brakes. And for the suspension, we have a MacPherson setup in the front and a rigid axle five-link rear suspension. Now, guys, as for the ground clearance of the Staria, well, it's a tad bit lower than the Starex at 186 millimeters. It's a little bit lower, but really, guys, not by much. There's not much styling that can be done to advance rear end, although we have to give credit to Hyundai's designers for giving it a good try. You see, the Hyundai Staria here gets this long candy bar style taillights here on the sides, although, yeah, they, they just get uh, bulb taillights here. These are not LEDs. Uh, you'll have to spring up for the top spec GLS Plus Premium to get a set of LED taillights. However, guys, we also have the Staria name embossed here on this massive panoramic uh, rear glass. And uh, yeah, it still looks like a Vans rear end, although it is a tad bit uh, futuristic. Now, when you pop open the manual liftgate of this thing, uh, as you can see, being an 11-seater, well, if the fourth row is deployed, well, there's really no space here for any cargo. However, if you're transporting uh, more stuff than people, well, you can always move this fourth row forward, like so. And that should free up over a thousand liters of cargo space, which is good enough for one, two, three, four, maybe a fifth and a sixth uh, medium-sized luggage. Just like the previous generation Starex, this Hyundai Staria now comes with an engine forward layout, which helps to reduce the uh, vibrations inside the cabin and also makes it easier to maintain. Now, under this hood, we've got a 2.2-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel motor that pumps out 175 horsepower and 432 newton meters of torque. However, guys, unlike the, the Hyundai Starex, which had a rear-wheel drive layout, well, this Hyundai Staria now drives the front wheels uh, via an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, if some of you are turned off by that front-wheel drive layout, well, you can always spring for the top-spec GLS Plus Premium, which is equipped with an all-wheel drive. You know, guys, for such a large van, climbing in and out of the driver's seat of the Hyundai Staria is pretty easy, and it's also quite low. Now, that's quite surprising, guys, because it's also a good uh, piece of news because even if you have weak knees, you can get in and out of this van quite easily. However, guys, despite the beautifully designed exterior of this Hyundai Staria, uh, the cockpit itself, the way they designed it, yeah, it kind of leaves me uninspired. I mean, save for the two screens there, it looks a little bit basic. And uh, these two screens are kind of activating the OCD in me. You see, they kind of look like sore thumbs to me, guys, because if you look at the instrument gauge cluster here, well, it's still the same gorgeous 10.25-inch SuperVision digital gauge cluster there, but the way that it's been tacked on, on top of the dashboard there, it's like the designers of this cockpit designed the dashboard and totally forgot to place an instrument gauge cluster. So instead of incorporating it beautifully into the dashboard, they just tacked on that 10.25-inch screen and called it a day. However, this, um, yeah, that, that design uh, miss is uh, slightly redeemed uh, by the fact that this Hyundai Staria comes with, a, with an anti-overspeeding device. You see, guys, there's a button here which when you press it, 
yeah, it just opens up a lid here that completely covers your digital instrument gauge cluster so that if you're over speeding, you wouldn't even know what speed you're doing. So you can always tell the officer, I'm sorry, officer, but I have no idea how fast I was going. <laughs> Guys, if you thought I was serious, <laughs> you gotta check yourself because that, my friends, is a joke. Uh, but as you can see, we have a storage cubby here right in front of that digital instru uh, instrument gauge cluster. So you could put some stuff there. So we have a storage cubby there. We have a storage cubby right here in the center. But I find it really weird that we don't have a storage cubby or a second uh, glove box on the front passenger area. But we have that on the driver's side. So that's kind of weird. Now, the second yeah, sore thumb that we have here is, well, the way that they designed the infotainment system there. See, it's a, it's a decent infotainment system. It's an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And thankfully, it also comes with the image of a 360-degree view camera. I mean, God knows you need that 360-degree view camera to, to help you park this thing. But the way that they put this here it's the same story as the instrument gauge cluster. It's like the, the dashboard designer just created a, a dashboard here and totally forgot to put that center stack. So they just, you know, they just tacked it on there and called it a day. <laughs> yeah, so, but other than that, guys, we do get a good amount of niceties and the creature comforts here. Uh, we have a wireless charging pad there. We have this, uh, the usual shifter found here in the middle that will give you some space here for the legs of your third passenger. And for the safety bits, as you can see on your screen, guys, we do get a basic yet decent amount of safety bits here. Now, if you want to go for the full caboodle of safety features and driver assist aids, you will have to go up to the top spec GLS Plus Premium. Now, when you look at the steering wheel of this uh, GLS Plus, well, it is wrapped in faux leather. And the design of this wheel is, I think, the only futuristic uh, part of this, you know, of this cockpit, save, of course, for those digital uh, screen displays. Now, the seats of this Taria also are wrapped in beige uh, faux leather here. And you can put a third person right here in the middle uh, although if you're yeah, if you're fighting with the front passenger and there's no one sitting here in the middle you can always fold this down which will give you a bit of a barrier versus your front passenger and it will also give you access to some cubbies and also a pair of cup holders the staria gls plus only comes with a manual sliding door here not the power sliding doors uh, that you could get from the top spec GLS Plus Premium. However, guys, when you hop into this, this uh, passenger area, as you can see, we have three rows of uh, passenger uh, seats here, but it's in a kind of bit of a weird configuration. You see, the second row is a bench type, while the third row are captain's chairs, and then we finish up with a bench type fourth row seats right there. Now, it's kind of weird because you'd normally expect that the second row would also be a set of captain's chairs, but that's not the case for this Staria GLS Plus. However, guys, if you think about it, it's a little bit more of a practical configuration here because with the, yeah, with the third row being as captain's chairs, then all you need to do is just uh, move this chair here or the seat here on the second row and you can easily go into the fourth row and into the third row and then down here to the second row thereby filling this 11-seater van uh, quite easily however guys well yeah it's uh yeah, it doesn't seem too comfortable though especially if you're going to like uh, fill this with 11 passengers because as you can see the leg room will be a little bit compromised now, I've already arranged this to have a leg room for all the four rows here. And as you can see, even at five foot six, guys, I, I'm only getting around like five inches of knee room here. Uh, but the headroom is like, like nearly a foot tall. So that is, that is pretty good. And uh, when you couple that with the wide panoramic windows here, yeah, you're going to have a really nice feeling of space as long as you don't mind the slightly smaller leg room here. 
Now, as for the toys here at the back seat, well, at the at the passenger area, well, we do get uh, USB charge ports on all of the all of the rows here, and we also have uh, a third climate control zone here at the back, plus ceiling mounted AC vents to keep all of your passengers cool and comfortable. The Staria GLS Plus is the practical choice in the local Staria lineup because you get a good set of creature comforts as well as, well, 11 seats. Uh, but for me, its biggest ace is its wow factor because this exterior design moves away from the traditional van look and towards infinity and beyond. Thanks for watching.